A toss is won by Sri Lanka and they decided to bowl. Well, you talk about uh, Zimbabwean side, they, they've got resources in their bowling lineup. But when it comes to batting, there are quite a few question marks hanging in front of the names. But Sri Lanka looks very well balanced. They've got horses for courses, they've got uh, reliable players there, uh, the players who could actually create impact. So, let's hope a good game. It's now time to join the action. Let's go across and join our first commentators. Captains, Craig Irvin. He was the one-day captain, not the T20 captain at the top of the order. Strike rate of 105, best to 68. Struggled immensely in the ODIs. He averages 21 in this format. Best of 44. Angela Matthews with the new ball. Straight away, the responsibility of winning the power play being handed over to the uh, veteran. First ball to Kamunukamwe. Back of a length, Angelo Matthews. No sign of a boundary yet for Zimbabwe. Bounces down the pitch. Craig Irvin and just talking about a boundary. That one has spit away for four. That's gone. That has come out the middle. That's what he's been trying to do the last couple of overs, Kamurukamwe. That one's slightly shorter than the couple that he's been trying to pull away, and he's muscled that 81 meters. Goes down the ground. Good shot from Craig Irvin, calculated. He's not sprinting, very well balanced run up, accelerates at the last moment, and the batter has accelerated. What a hit! Gets that length. He will put you out of, out into the stands. Things become easier. Things become a lot more clear and enjoyable as well. That's in the air. That's in the air, and Tamira takes it comfortably. The ball was slightly fuller, and he was cramped. Hence, outside edge. And the ball scooped in the air and he's been dismissed. Washed it till the last moment, Chimara, Chamira. And first blood drawn. 26, Kamono Kamwe, and it's 37 for one. How good to have him back. Sean Williams missed the ODIs due to injury. Off the mark, run, 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 looking run, for two, run, running run. hard, but wasn't there. Oh, oh, oh huge shot, huge shot, and he's been given. So that power play, which was looking very good for Zimbabwe, now very, very different. It comes back a long way, though, I mean. Irvin's gone, just a 10 to him. 38 for two. Edge dropped. The fielder was there, Patum Nisanka. Just guided the ball straight to the fielder. Should have been taken. Short shout to catch it, but it's got enough to get over the mid-on fielder. away man back Raza calls for two he doesn't have to bother coming back because it's gone for four again Sikandar Raza what a wonderful bit of timing Bowled him. now Sean Williams is indicating to the umpire and I I think there was a fielder who was moving at the time. No ball signaled. Oh my goodness, I think three fielders in the circle. Thick inside edge, again, there you go. 
I'm not sure Sean Williams is going to be able to uh, carry on all the way through the innings. He really is struggling. Oh, he's hit that in the air. Tadira Samarawikram at this time takes it without a hassle. That's the longer boundary. The side strain uh, as he's been carrying it through, not letting him uh, go the distance. It was much slower than the traditional leg spinner by Manadu Hasaranga. Sadira Samar Vikram was about 10 feet in front, but had the presence of mind to run back to take it easy. Sean Williams gone 14. Zimbabwe 83 for 3. That one set up. Sikandaraza up to it, slaps it. Takes the boundary on very effectively, Sikandaraza. This was in the cards. Once you're in, try and paper that boundary. And Sikandaraza plays that slot sweep very well. That was a leg spin as well against the turn. Oh, ball in. He strikes back. The possibly the mistake by Ryan Ball did was to go against the turn through the offside. He had gone towards mid -wicket. Would have been much better. But in the end, paid the price. And the champion, the captain of the uh, T20 team for Sri Lanka, strikes. And Ryan Ball gone for five. Zimbabwe, 103 for four. When the ball is next to the bat, there is a spike. I can see a spike there next to the on the screen. So I, there is bat involved. So give me the on-field uh, umpire, please. Give me the on-field umpire. Uh, Ravi, you have to change your decision from uh, not out to not out. You're on screen now. So you can make a signal. Thank finding you. Finding a little spike as that ball stuck the bat. Yeah, that's played beautifully behind point. Good effort, very good effort, but the umpire would want to take a look, I'm sure. Timed the dive quite nicely. Pereira, but here should be a boundary. Down the ground, might split the field, it does. That's his boundary, his 13th half century in T20 cricket and second out of Africa. And what an innings by the captain of just 37 deliveries. Kosovo going off. Has he got it all? He's got it. It's gone all the way for six. Make sure that he connects the ball from the middle of the bat and it has disappeared. A great start to the over. Eight already from two deliveries. Goes again. This time, taken a glove on. And that prize wicket of Sikandar Raza. He was able to remove him timely. Uh, getting to Pasco is not going to be easy from here on for the Zimbabweans. Well judged catch by Dustin Shanaka. A captain's in eight came to an end 62 was the contribution it's 129 for five. Oh, that is decent took the early route one bounce over the boundary line again on the pads this time another boundary behind square leg for a moment i thought the field had it covered last ball of the over Again, pace of the ball into the pitch. They'll get a single. 12 runs off the over, and Zimbabwe get 143 for five. Yeah, Sri Lanka winning the toss, putting the visitors in. Uh, Kamunukame with 26 at the top of the innings. It was Sekunder Raza who was outstanding once again. 62 and 42. Zimbabwe a tad short of what they would have liked. 143 for five. 
Bowlers used Matthews, Tosara, Tikshana, Chimera, Hasaranga and Shanaka. Two apiece for Tikshana and Hasaranga. The spinners doing the majority of the damage. Katum Nisanka back from Illness. Missed out the ODI series. Decent numbers. Average of 28. Strike rate of almost 113. 25 0. He'll be accompanied by the ODI skipper. Kusal Mendis was in super form in the last game. Average of 24. Good strike rate, 134. Time for third man. Kamuru Kamwe fumbles. It means that Sri Lanka can come back for two. Picked up. There's a the fielder back. It's Wellington Masakadza who takes the catch. That man does it again. That was a good shot. Asking to be hit away down the leg side was pitching leg. And a good shot. It's probably not the meat of the bat. But got good connection and Masakadza. He judged it really well. For a moment I thought that was going for a boundary. In the end, Patum Nisanka perishes for Sri Lanka for two. Sri Lanka two for one. Sri Lanka. Chasing down 144, and just lost the first wicket. Atum Nisanka coming into the side. It brings Kusal Pereira, 33-year-old, 1,660 runs. Big appeal. I think that's going to be a bit high. In the air, and a couple of bounces into the boundary. Ryan Burgess chase. Won't be able to cut that off. Oh, Jumbo doesn't start well. Jumbo doesn't start well. Oh, Jumbo, the lines drop again. Now, this is on the left side to Pereira, and it's another boundary. Top edge. And the third man's been brought up in the circle to protect other parts of the field. And Ness runs away for four as well. This time, Ryan Ball settles underneath it, takes it. Kusal Pereira goes. They are trying to break free. They got that over from Luke Jongwei. <laughs> trying to make use of the field restrictions. Too easy for Ryan Ball, Kusal Pereira. Not really sure where he was trying to hit it. 17 of 13 and it's 32 for two. Gets him. The field was set. I was trying to allude to the point that for that length, two fielders behind square for Mendes. Short and wide, went hard, but straight to the man at point. Bit of extra bounce. That is Masakatsa who takes the catch. Zimbabwe on top here. Sri Lanka have lost their top three. Mendis goes for 17, 38 for three. Abish in the gap at cover. Might just beat the fielder. It does. Oh, they're asking for a catch. They are asking for a catch, or are they claiming that he's bold? Well, they're celebrating. Once again, director. a loose looking shot. Yeah, and he misses it. Bold. Okay, roll it. Yeah. It uh, really has uh, bold in. So give me the, the giant screen. Just wondering what, what the problem was, but he's been bowled by Sikandarata on the very first delivery. At the point we were discussing, once again resurfaces. Samarui Krama goes for nine, Sri Lanka 51 for four.
Matthews picks that up. It's going all the way. Seema, in fact, that was space off, sorry. Bit of bounce as well, but Angelo Matthews rose to the occasion. He hit it hard, Matthews. That would have gone for four because Midoff is wide. Unfortunately, just couldn't hold on. But I'll tell you what, he saved four. Get it. Edge. Taken. It's Osalanka. Masakadza takes the third catch of the innings. This time, it's playing just a bit too early against the turn. Very simple catch for the man of extra cover. Zimbabwe doing everything right at the moment. They've been catching well, they've been bowling well as well. Asalaka goes for 16. Zimbabwe 83, Sri Lanka, I beg your pardon, 83 for 5. Ball him. Doesn't stay long. Raza strikes off the last ball of his spell. More trouble for Sri Lanka. Sikanda Raza was cleverer, slower. Spun back a long way, feet went nowhere. Caught in the crease. This is clever bowling by the Zimbabwean captain. He's finished a brilliant spell. 3 for 13 of 4. Asaranga goes without scoring. Sri Lanka, 83 for 6. Oh, effective edge. Gave himself room. He couldn't have asked for a better result, Matthews. Goes for another edge, another four. Can you believe it? Ngaraba. Cut away. That is a good shot. Authority at the top of the over. Short. Pulled away, and that'll go away for four. What a shot in there. Goes all over the fire leg field up for four. Play through the offside. This will go for four. Sri Lanka needed this. Oh, beauty. Beauty from Dasu Sharaka to end the penultimate over. What a shot. First ball in the over, one ball to four, they've enjoyed that. Oh, now that's steered away for four. That doesn't look like a edge to me, it looks deliberate. That's gone in the air, has it got enough on it? No, it doesn't. Wellington Masakadza completes his fourth catch. Musarabani gets a crucial wicket in the final over. The idea was right. He picked up the slow delivery, not the execution. Not getting the ball from the middle of the bat and hence it went straight to the fielder. A good contribution from Angelo Matthews. It's 138 for 7. And he asked him to go for it, and he has. One bounce over the boundary line. Much needed boundary. Final ball. Muzarabani. It's in the air. Wellington Masakata was right there a couple of balls ago. They'll come back for two. Sri Lanka win the first big on Pants T20 International by three wickets. Samira, you beauty. Everybody was on their toes, edge of the seats, till that happened. Samira was the man to do it for Sri Lanka. Scored six runs of last two deliveries. And appreciated by his senior partner, Dasun Shanika, who was a main spectator in this over. Yeah, in the chase. 
Patum Nasanka went early and so did a few of the top order batsmen. It was Angelo Matthews who at one stage struggled, had six runs from 15 balls, ended up 46 from 38. He lit up the innings and supported well by the former captain Dasun Shanaka, 26 and 18, making sure Sri Lanka get over the line on the final ball and winning by three wickets. Yeah, Masravani was brilliant with his first three overs when he picked up two wickets and then the compliments came from the spinners, Masakaza and the captain Sikandar Razak. They featured in four wickets 